Welcome to class. Today's yoga practice will be a somatic flow in which we will move intuitively to help release built up tension in the body. A somatic yoga flow essentially is revolved around the intention of moving intuitively, tapping into the body and allowing the body to move freely. As we move throughout this flow, I invite you to really get into the movements, to move in a way that feels authentic to you and your body today. At any time, you can always modify the postures. This is your practice. I am just your guide. We will get started in a seated position. It doesn't matter which leg is in front. Hands will be on top of the knees. We'll take a few moments here to tune into the breath. So we'll allow the eyes to close or gaze can be down towards the mat. Integrity through the spine. And then start to notice the inhales and exhales. What can you change to lengthen the breath? If there's a different intention other than moving intuitively that you would like to set for your practice today, I invite you to do so now. We'll take a few more moments here to focus on the breath, to allow the mind and the body to settle in stillness. See if you can find a little bit more space throughout the rib cage with each inhale. We have a few more rounds of breath here. If eyes are closed, to begin to flutter them open. Then we'll start to find a little movement as you bring the chest forward towards the knees, then back towards the hips. Starting to find these barrel rolls with the torso and then start to invite in any other organic movement. You can close the eyes if you would like. You can make these torso barrel rolls as big or as small as you need. I love to close my eyes when moving through a somatic flow because it helps me really tap in to what it is that my body needs without thinking about where it should be going. And as we move throughout this practice, let go of any attachment or judgment to any shapes that your body is making. This flow is for you to release, to let go. And a crucial part in letting go is to not worry about judgment. Now we'll go ahead and switch into the other direction. Move fluidly like water, connecting one movement to the other. And it's okay if you have a little bit of a different variation as we go through this side. Allow your body to feel, to express, to release. We have a few more torso barrel rolls here. And then start to make the movement a little bit smaller as we start to come back into a seated position. Once you arrive in your simple seat, hands will come onto each side of the body, cupcake the fingertips, then begin to drop right ear towards right shoulder. Again, you're welcome to close the eyes here if you would like. Then you can stay with stillness or you can start to drop the chin towards right armpit and then bring it back to parallel. So your choice if you would like to find movement or stillness here. Eventually we all meet in stillness couple of rounds of breath. I 
Lift the chin back up to parallel. We move to the other side. You'll drop your left ear to your left shoulder. The side might feel a little bit tighter. That's okay. Breathe here. And again, your choice of movement or stillness. Find what feels best for you and your body today. Eventually we all meet in stillness. Breathe deep here. We'll come back to center. Drop right ear to right shoulder again. This time you can use your right hand to assist. Right hand comes either towards left ear or outside of the left side of the head. Again, your choice of stillness or movement. Move intuitively. Let go of what you think you should be doing. And allow your body to respond organically. Eventually we meet in stillness. And then if you use your right hand for assistance, release, we'll move back to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. You can use your right hand to assist and then stay with stillness or find the movement with the chin. I feel like no matter how much I stretch my neck, there's always so much tension. And then eventually find stillness. We'll slowly release. Then start to make your way into all fours for cat cow. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the back. Keep moving through your cat cow. And of course you can invite any playful or organic movements that you would like. You can also hold one variation. You can move fast or slow. Again, allow the body to guide you. Oftentimes, we think too much about where we are, or where we are going, and we allow the mind to take over. See if you can let that go. Allow the mind to just be an observer. Then you can stay with these cat cows, or you can start to find barrel movements with the hips. So if you're starting to find the barrel movements, you'll bring the hips forward towards the wrist, over towards one side, back towards the heels. Doesn't matter which direction you start in because we will move to both sides. And then go ahead and switch it out. Thinking about releasing static energy. One more full round. And then we meet back in that all four position. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the wrists. Tuck the toes, we'll find a foot stretch here. So start to walk the hands back towards the knees. This might be enough for you. If you need a little bit more, go ahead and walk yourself up. Find whatever works for you. Allow the feet to stretch. Oftentimes, we hold a lot of tension in our feet and our feet are sometimes one of the most neglected parts of our body. So giving it a little bit of extra love here. A couple of more rounds of breath. And 
And then begin to walk the hands back forward. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Pedal through the feet here. And if you've done one of my other somatic flows, you know that I like to find a lot of movement in down dog. So you can start to rock or sway the hips left and right in your down dog. Move intuitively, find what feels good. And you can mix and match variations. Try anything on for size here. A couple more rounds of breath to play. And then eventually we meet in stillness in down dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, slowly walk towards the back of the mat. Your feet will meet the hands at the top, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back energy here. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Now you can find a little bit more of an exaggeration through the spine as you come up if you would like. Making a wave-like movement your choice. You can either keep this very linear or not. We have a couple of more rounds to play. And then on your last halfway lift, we hold. Hands to the shins for support, knit the ribs in, pull the traps down the back, shoulder blades together. Release any tension through the back of the neck. Breathe here for five. Four, three, two, on one, release, forward fold. Weight starts to shift into left foot. Lift your right foot for a standing split. If you have blocks, you can place your hands on top of blocks here. Allow the crown of the head to fall towards the mat. Right foot will plant towards the earth. Find your way into a lunge and then start to pull your chest forward slightly. Gaze goes up. Then as you exhale, rock back for a wide legged pyramid. Gaze goes back towards right leg. Inhale, shift forward, bend left knee, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back. Again, inhale, shift forward, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back. One more time, inhale, shift forward, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back and hold. Then drop the ball of left foot towards the earth, stretch through the front of left leg. One more round of breath here. Then start to pivot towards the right side of the mat for a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Stay here. Then start to rock the hips left and right. Find any variation that you would like here. You can even grab opposite elbows and find a sway. Really tap into the bodily sensations. Allow the body to guide you, whether that be in stillness or movement. A couple of more rounds of breath here in whichever variation you need. And then eventually we all meet in a wide-legged forward fold, crown of the head towards the mat. Mm -hmm. 
Begin to shift into a skandasana into right leg. So right knee will bend, left leg is straight. Then flow towards the front of the mat, left knee bends, right leg is straight. Back to right side. Then this time we will walk forward, use your hands for support, bring your right knee down towards the earth. Left leg stays out, sit the glutes back towards the heel and find your way into a child's pose variation with the left leg extended out. Breathe here. Arms can be active or passive, your choice. And begin to lift yourself up so you're in this four point position with the hands underneath the shoulders and left leg extended out. Inhale, lift right hand up towards the ceiling, gaze tracks right hand, we flow here. Exhale as you thread and hover right shoulder. Inhale, lift, open up, gaze follows right hand. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, open up. This time, exhale, thread and release. Your choice if you would like to keep left hand outside of the face, walk it forward or bring it behind the back. Breathe here. The hand is behind the back, release. We all meet with left hand framing outside of the face. Press through left palm, unthread, then bring right hand down towards the mat. We will shift the weight back, so tuck your right toes. Find your way into a lunge as you pivot towards the back of the mat. Right foot is underneath your right knee. Then we move into warrior one leg. So you'll dial left heel down. Left foot is 45 degrees off towards the left. Inhale, lift arms overhead. Exhale, settle warrior one. Take a moment here to settle in. Engage through left glute, and you can find a little bit of movement here if you would like, or you can stay still. Then we'll release the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, roll shoulders up towards the ear, slide them down the back, open up through the chest, big inhale, exhale, hinge for humble. Inhale, lift, we flow. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold and hold. You can keep the hands back up towards the ceiling or you can release them down towards the earth. You can even bring the hands hovering back towards the hips, your choice. Then we'll all meet with the hands down towards the mat. Tuck left toes, lift right leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog, big inhale. Exhale, right knee towards right elbow. Then lower right foot down for a pigeon pose. Start to walk left foot back. We start upright first. Use any props that you need to help support you here. If right hip is very elevated, go ahead and place a pillow or a blanket or a block, whatever you have on hand underneath your right hip. Then begin to lower yourself down for a sleeping pigeon, forehead to the mat, or to a prop. Breathe here.
Last round of breath. And slowly begin to walk yourself up, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck left toes, lift right leg up towards the ceiling, then find whatever you need here to get blood back into your right hip. Then eventually right foot meets the left and down dog. We'll ripple forward into a plank, then your choice, knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale for high cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back down dog. So we find our way back into down dog, meaning you can find fluid movement here, rocking through the hips, swaying, pedaling, finding a mix and match, whatever works for you. Allow your body to explore freedom of expression here. Letting go of any static and trapped energy in the body. Tuning in to the bodily sensations and allowing that to guide you organically. Then eventually we find stillness and down dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way towards the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Again, you can keep this linear or not. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Two more rounds. After those two, we hold for one more halfway lift. Breathe as you hold. Shoulder blades together, ribs knit in, release tension in the neck, gazes down towards the mat. Three more rounds of breath here. Then on your exhale, release into forward fold. Weight shifts into right foot. Lift left foot, standing split. Breathe here. Then lower left foot down towards the earth. Find your way into a lunge with the hands on the mat. Start to pull the chest through, inhale here. Exhale, rock back, wide-legged pyramid. Inhale, rock forward, bend through right knee, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back. Two more times. Keep flowing and breathing. On this last round, that's when we hold in our wide-legged pyramid pose. Allow the ball of right foot to drop towards the mat. Then pivot towards the left for a wide-legged fold. Then this time we'll move straight into a skandasana, left and right. Move fluidly and intuitively here. You can keep your hands on the earth or you can lift them and flow like water. Allow the body to guide you to move intuitively. No attachment or judgment to any shapes that you are making or are not making. Take a couple of more breaths to even it out. And then we all meet with the left knee bent and the right leg straight. Use your hands to lower left knee to the earth. Your right leg is extended out, left knee in line with left hip, then sit the glutes back. So you're resting on left heel for a variation of child's pose. Again, you could be as active or passive with the arms as you would like. Then 
Then slowly start to shift forward so the shoulders come over the wrists. Inhale, lift left hand, gaze tracks left hand. Exhale, thread we flow here, so keep the hover. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread, you have one more. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread and hold. Your choice of placement for right hand, you can keep it where it is, extend it forward or drape it behind the back. Couple of rounds of breath here. Then we all meet with right hand framing the face, press through right palm, unthread, then left hand down to the earth. Tuck left toes, rock back and pivot towards the front of the mat so you're in a lunge at the front. Find warrior one leg, so right heel down, right toes 45 degrees off of right side of mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, settle here in warrior one. Eventually, hands interlace at low back, opposite grip this time. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, hinge for humble, we flow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge and hold your choice to keep the hands up towards the ceiling. You can release the hands back or you can bring them down towards left foot for more support, your choice. Two more full rounds of breath here. Then we all meet with the hands on the earth. Tuck right toes, so right heel is lifted. Inhale, lift left foot up, you're in three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Bring it into a pigeon. Walk your right leg back. We start upright first. Again, use any props that you need in this pose. Then when you're ready, you can start to make your way down onto the earth. Two more full rounds of breath here. And start to walk yourself up, hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck right toes, lift left leg for three-legged dog. Then find any other movements that you would like here to get blood flowing back into left hip. Eventually, left foot meets the right in down dog. Then we'll ripple forward into a plank for a vinyasa, your choice, knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale for high cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back, down dog. Last down dog of this practice. So find what you need here. You can stay in stillness or find movement. Move intuitively. Eventually find stillness in down dog. Then ripple forward to a plank. Slowly lower yourself down onto the mat. Belly is on the earth. Untuck the toes. Use left hand as a pillow for your forehead. Bend at right knee. Reach right hand back. Grab for right foot for a quad stretch. There's still energy beaming through left leg. Breathe here. See if you can bring your right heel a little bit closer to right glute. 
One more full round of breath. Then begin to release right foot. Right hand comes underneath the forehead. Bend at right knee so you're in a one-legged frog. Check in with your alignment here. Right ankle in line with right knee. Right knee in line with right hip. See if you can level out the hips. It might be easier to bring the hips level if you start to spin your left foot out and shift so that there's some weight on the inner side of the left thigh. Breathe here in one-legged frog. Notice the shift in the breath. Inhales and exhales become a little bit longer. Then slowly begin to extend your right leg back. We'll shift the placement of the hand. So this time right hand is on the earth, forehead is resting on right hand. Bend at left knee, left hand reaches back for the quad stretch here. There's still energy through right leg, top of right foot presses into the mat. See if you can bring your left heel closer to left glute. Knees are in line with the hips. Couple of more rounds of breath here. Then slowly release the grip of left foot. Left hand comes underneath the forehead. Bend at left knee. Find your one-legged frog on this side. Lift the head so you can check in with your alignment. Left ankle in line with left knee. Left knee in line with left hip. Then if you would like, you can find that adjustment on right leg so that your inner right thigh comes to the earth to level the hips. Notice what's going on in the body with no attachment or judgment. Noticing the shift to the parasympathetic nervous system. The mind is calm, the body is calm. Preparing for our final pose. Begin to extend your left leg back. Then slowly start to roll onto your back for your final Shavasana. Legs are extended out, arms alongside the body. You can take the feet as wide as you would like. Wiggle, find any adjustments for you to rest and to release in your final Shavasana pose. Allow the body to be heavy. Allow it to feel as though you're sinking through the earth. And as always, you can pause the video and remain in Shavasana for as long as it serves you. Whenever you are ready to progress and to move on, awaken the body with a big inhale through the nose and an exhale out the mouth. Wiggle the toes, the fingers, roll at the wrists and the ankles. Inner ankles come together, arms extend overhead. Find a good morning stretch. Point through the toes, low back lifts. The knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. You can rock left and right or find a fetal pose if that works for you. Then whenever you are ready, gently make your way into a simple seat to close out practice.
cross at the ankles, hands can be on top of the knees. You're welcome to bring one hand to the chest and one hand to the earth to signify grounding. Bow your head, offer gratitude to yourself and to the practice. If there's an intention that you set for your practice, you can bring it to the mind's eye now. Thank you so much for tuning in and flowing with me today. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.